What's up YouTube? Coach5515 back again with another video. So today I'm going to share a story that happened or that I witnessed about over 20 years ago. So this happened right outside of Chin Li. Um, not too far outside of Chin Li, less than a mile, less than a half a mile outside of Chin Li. So I lived down in Tucson for a while. I hadn't been home for a couple years, maybe a year, two years. So I decided to come back and visit, you know, try to catch up with some um, old friends, family. So we all decided to meet up, you know, and, you know, catch up. So we met up at another relative's house, just hanging out. We're inside, few people were inside. One of the couples, they were outside, you know, having a smoke break, you know, just, just talking. They were sitting out on the front steps. So probably about 20, 30 minutes later, the girl comes busting through the door and she, she was like freaked out. Her eyes were huge, couldn't speak. And like, she was trying to speak, but she couldn't say anything. And all she was doing was gesturing and she was just doing this. You know, just doing this. Finally, probably 30 seconds after she was doing that, she, she goes, go outside, go outside. And we're like, who? She goes, just go outside. So we were like, I don't know, what's she talking about? And she just kept saying, go outside. She kind of raised, up, raised her voice. And then the other the other ladies that were there, the females, they're all like, just go outside. She, they got mad at us. <laughs> So we went outside and the guy that she was talking to, he was looking toward Chin Lee and he goes, look, and we're, we're looking toward Chin Lee and walking away was a guy walking in the dark. You could see the silhouette of him walking away. He wasn't walking fast or anything. You know, he's just walking casually. And we're like, what was, what's with him? He goes, that guy walked right in front of us. And we're like, okay, why is she freaked out? And he goes, he goes, it was a skinwalker. And we're like, what? And he goes, yeah, it was a skinwalker. He, he goes, his legs were, he was wearing moccasins. His legs were painted white. He had some kind of, um, something wrapped around both knees. Like, like, um, like something tied around both knees, like, uh, like ribbons or something. And he goes, his upper body, like he, like his, 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 he was just wearing like um, buckskin around his, his private parts and his butt. And the top of his, um, his body looked like it was white, but the paint was coming off. He goes, his face was painted white, his hair was long. He goes, he had a black stripe and a red stripe right in front. He goes, going, going across his face. And we're, we're like, what the heck? He goes, yeah, that, he goes, he just walked like 10 feet in front of us. He goes, we were talking, and I don't know if he heard us or, or what, but he just walked by like nothing was going on. He goes, he was carrying his skin too. He goes, his skin was draped over his shoulder. He goes, I think it was a coyote skin or some kind of a dog skin or something. He goes, it was just draped over. He goes, it was all furry. And, and we're like, what the heck? He goes, yeah, for real. He goes, he goes, he goes, he just walked right in front of us. So as we were watching him, he was telling us the same thing. And like, we were looking back and forth. That, well, I was looking at the guy telling, telling what he saw. And then I kept looking toward where the guy was walking. And the guy disappeared into the dark toward the wash. Because when you walk from toward Chin Li, then he walked toward the east. And then where he was walking was, was the wash area. And, and, um, where I told the story where the coworker shared the uh, video of something on top of his, his roof, it was in that area, the same housings to where that, that's the direction he was walking. But behind those houses is a wash that runs right in the middle of Chin Lee. And, there's a lot of trees down there and, you know, a lot of places to hide. So that's where he disappeared to. And, you know, 
he was walking in that direction because we, we were still watching his silhouette and, and like I could see something draped over his shoulder for real and and he was so far away from us that you know I could I couldn't see the paint and but the guy you know he told us that he was painted and we were like freaking out but the girl was still scared and she stayed there till the next day and and um she didn't go home until the next day till like the afternoon so so um so when i asked the guy again i said dude are you sure that was a skinwalker he goes yes it was a skinwalker he goes who else is gonna carry skin painted and you know like the stripes on his face his his, his, his hair was long he goes he was a dude he was just walking by and like in the middle of the night you wonder like there, there, I mean, you think about it. There's nobody gonna be walking around like that late at night and with some with moccasins and all painted. And he was freaking out. You know that 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 was that was that was something to see because you know it walked away and walked to, walked into the wash. But um, you know that's my story for today. You know, thanks for watching. I guess these guys can just walk around like you know all casual and after they do whatever. So. You know, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. You know, some of you guys have scary stories too. If you guys read some of the comments and some of the stories that people share, you know, some of them are more more freaky than than what I what I tell. Like like skinwalkers, you know, visiting people when they were after they picked pinions in their area, came in, you know, Messed up the whole neighborhood. Um, being chased by those skinwalkers. You know, it's crazy. But um, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, guys. Um, try to. I'm going to try to put out more videos within the next few days. I got one interview lined up, so look out for that. Hopefully, you guys watch the, the, the interviews that I do. They're mostly for for the kids that, you know that are looking for a career if you're looking for a career this is these interviews that i put out there they're some of the steps that they took and you know business owner koye clash chi um a strength and conditioning coach for byu kalani simiona you know some of the some of the some of the steps they took in their lives to get to where they're at i mean byu man one of the top football football uh, programs in the country he's worked with the NFL athletes so you know if you want to do that you know check out that video I got my EMT career what I did and in, in, in mine and then uh, my my little brother who is a police officer with Navajo Nation PD so uh, go ahead and check those out if you're looking for a career so I'm trying to get things out for for people to see not just scary stories but um thank you for watching thank you for subscribing guys i appreciate it